Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project, driving through Pennsylvania. I am um, roughly, uh, just so y'all feel comfortable here, I'm not holding my camera and looking through it at the same time. I just have my hand resting on the dash. Anyway, I am um, roughly, I think, halfway to New York, halfway to my home, but I'm going to sleep in Pennsylvania tonight. And um, that way I'll arrive in my New York homestead during the day, during sunlight hours, tomorrow morning, so I can see everything clearly. I'll have to go and get some propane. Um, it's going to be cold. It's going to be really cold at night. And RV hasn't been heated in forever, so I'll uh, probably have to go into town to get some supplies. I might have to get the truck going might have to work on uh, blazing a trail. I'll find out when I get there. But as you can see, it's a perfect day for a drive. It's sunny. It started out a bit cloudy and uh, was spitting a little bit. Never really did rain. So it's pretty good weather. And it is, if you can see, where is it right there? It is 50 degrees out, which is amazing. I've been running around with a t-shirt. I haven't used a jacket all day, so I am adjusting to the cold. I think shoveling snow and ice for a week helped me adjust to the cold nicely. The uh, car's doing well. I'm getting... Oh, I can't see that. Can you see that? 28 miles to the gallon. So that's nice. The car's doing well. And... Well, heading home, finally. Finally, heading home. Forgot to mention, there's snow, of course, in the forest. Um, but not very much. Now, Michigan, where I, when I left my parents' place, there was a lot of snow underground. Uh, as much as a couple feet in drifts. And actually, I wish I'd have grabbed my camera. When I left this morning, the roads were drifting over. But as I get down further south and east, as you see, there's dry pastures out through there. And there's less and less snow. If you look here on the side, um, it's half burnt off. So it's not so bad here in Pennsylvania at all, so far. And no idea what I'm going to see when I get to New York tomorrow, but I guess time will tell. And there's a nice dry pasture. It's funny, um, Melbourne was burnt out and dry and brown. And I come back home and it's brown. Almost got me sort of used to it in a way. It's like an easing into the, uh, the change. Still driving through Pennsylvania. Um, it's 5 o'clock. It's 57 degrees outside. And now I'm getting 20. 8.9 miles to the gallon. I had reset that when I left, and it's just getting better and better as I go. Um, it's a little bit warmer here, obviously, in this area where I'm going to. And there's less snow, so that's definitely positive, but I live up north farther, quite a ways up north from here, so we'll see how it looks once I get home. And I've only got an hour left of travel today. I'm stopping at 6. Um, don't want to get home just before dark. I want to get there and have a full day ahead of me to get my home put together and get it heated up and take care of any problems that may have come up since I was gone. So that would be good to get there and have the whole day tomorrow. That's the plan. So one more hour and I'm done for the day. Well, it's Tuesday morning. I should say uh, late morning. It's going on lunchtime pretty soon. I uh, had a lazy morning of it today, so I get home in midday and the warmth. It's 53 degrees out, uh, snowy. I'm still in Pennsylvania. I haven't crossed the border into New York yet, but uh, we'll see how it goes. There's more and more snow as I get up further north here. So, 
I'll have to see how it goes. If the ground is snowy, I'll have trouble getting into my meadow. But we'll find out here soon enough. I am just over an hour and a quarter away from home. Well, here I am. This is the long dirt road going up to my place. The snow is pretty deep on the sides. Actually, it looks pretty wild over there in the woods. The road is a mess. So, it's a good foot deep, 18 inches on the sides, but that could be just from being plowed. Some deer tracks in the snow. It's deep. Looks like I've gone to a far north waistline here. There's the lake. Pure white. That's the lake. It's pure white everywhere. Well, we'll see how it is when I get up to the uh, end of the road. I might have to go get my truck. We'll see how it looks. Well, I didn't even get into the driveway. There's the driveway. Uh, I was trying to take the high path right here, and the car slipped right off. You can see where it slipped? And it rutted itself right in. That's a bummer. I didn't even get to the meadow. That is deep. That's annoying. There's my baby cat trying to get home. This is stupid. Well, I couldn't have foreseen that. I knew there was uh, some loose dirt here, but my landlady just got stuck. So she turned this up, and then the water, you can see the water was filling it. It did not look that deep at all. But what happened is, um, I didn't know that she just got stuck a little while ago, going through here, and ripped it out that deep. See, this is what it looked like. Uh, and my car is in a deeper spot. I just couldn't have foreseen that. So that's it. Car is done. I'm gonna go out and get the truck. Hope it runs. Well, this is the this is the driveway I walk. I drive my to my RV. This is the path I take to get to my RV. It's a foot of snow. This is bad. I don't know if I can even get my truck through here. I don't know if I'm going to get to my home. The uh, landlady's vehicle is stuck. Here, look at this. That's 18 inches. The landlady's vehicle is stuck. We're going to call AAA and get her out so I can go get some propane for heat tonight. So I want to attempt, attempt to get my truck through this in four wheel drive. Doesn't look good. Well, I'm almost home. Oh, here we are. First view of my home after all this traveling, all this time. Here I am. Well, the RV is still there. The uh, car paper stayed on. The porch is intact. The plastic didn't make it. Okay. The plastic didn't make it. But the porch is intact. The porch is fine. Everything's fine. I can fix that. It's 
it's not a big deal. The roof is still there. Everything's still there. So that's good. Um, there's 18 inches of snow in some places, so I don't know if I'll get my truck even down there. I don't know how. How, how am I going to get my stuff over here? I can't walk it that far. <sighs> well, see if the old thing will fire up, put it in four and see what I can do. I hope and pray. See right here, you can't tell depth, but... Uh, there. Up to my, uh, well, way above my ankles. Uh, I don't know. The wood pile's not covered, the tarp's gone, long gone, so I won't have any fresh firewood. Yeah, the tarp's gone. It's probably off in a forest somewhere. So I won't have any firewood for now. I'll have to get that out. Well, that's why I came at the hour I did, so I'd have an opportunity to try to fix things up. The tent made it. It doesn't look good, but it made it. The tent made it through. All right. Looks like it's underwater, but it made it through. It did it. All right. I was worried about that. Well. Looks like the camper's still intact. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, this is not a good thing. My camper is peeing from inside. And I'm sort of afraid to look inside there. That's coming from inside. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah, water is running in a bad way inside the camper. Okay, well, that's not good. But the RV looks all right. The old truck camper made it. The RV is intact. I just got to figure out how to get me and my cat up here. Get some fire going. Get the mothballs out and spend the night. Look, my no trespassing sign made it. The cops said they can't help me unless there's a no trespassing sign. <laughs> and it survived. Funny. Ah, well, home. Home. Oh, there's some firewood. Here we are. Well. I have to put down my camera, see if I can get inside, and see what it looks like. Actually, I think I'll get the truck running first, let it warm up, and then go see about the camper. Put the camera down. The old beast, been sitting three months, let's see. Come on, you old beast. Come on. All right. I'll let that warm up. Go check the camper. Come on. Here we go. Oh, it shifted. Okay, that's a problem. Yeah, well, okay. Wait a minute. Good so far. Oh, as I feared, the inverter was left on all this time. Is it? No. Wait. No, the inverter's off. I was lost sleep over that. Oh, the mothballs are down to nothing. <laughs> I had mothballs all through the RV. Look, there's nothing left. 
Okay, so you guys were right. Something shifted in the winter. You guys were right. Ah. Well, it's down. Okay, I don't see any mouse poop. Uh, had some garbage left there. I left this place in a hurry. I don't see any mouse poop on the counter. Let me see here. I don't see any mouse poop. Oh no, the back hatch is wide open. No, oh, that's terrible. Oh, so much for having everything repaired. Well, that partly explains why it doesn't smell like mothballs in here so bad. Uh, other than that... Well, let's go outside and look in the back hatch. So I had lifted my bed up and raised it so that if the mice came in, they wouldn't do any harm here. That was my cushion for the, uh, for the uh, front bench, which I left open, by the way. Oh, I think God answered my prayer. There's not a trace of any mice at all. Nothing. Nothing. Let me get to the batteries. See what the battery bank looks like. I've sweated over this. I thought I left this on. I, I lost sleep over that. All these months. What do we got here? We've got 14.0 volts. <sighs> nice. My, uh, my freak focus. That is good news. That is a total absolute relief. I did leave a maintainer solar panel on there to maintain the batteries and oh thank god they're all good. Oh unbelievable. See when I left here I prayed over the property. Uh, no, no mice, no weather damage, no vandalism. I should have prayed that I'd be able to get back <laughs> but I guess I forgot that little detail. There it is. Everything's all right. I had left this cover off to allow gases to escape into the room. I could care less about that when I wasn't here. Um, it's all good. Batteries are good. Topped off. Maintained. Now I just got to figure out how to get back to the RV. Well, there's my bed. I just flipped it back down. Everything's still intact. My coziest bed in the world. I love this bed. Um, well, I'll leave everything open. I gotta check that back hatch to make sure there's no water damage though. That's a bummer. But everything's here. I got all the blankets up here. I had piled them up here for uh, protection uh, in case there were mice. And let me see. I don't see any trace of mice. Everything looks good. I don't see... I don't think there was mice in here anywhere. But I do need to lay this out and get this RV warmed up. I'll have to unroll that. Now, I left a mess here. I had stacked everything from the kitchen, food, everything in boxes. Uh, I got some sorting and cleaning to do. All my food is in containers, containers, so that uh, in case mice did get in, they wouldn't get to anything, but there were no mice. No mice in here at all. Nice. Well, let's go around back and have a look. Well, I wonder when that got knocked open. It must have been recent. See, I had this plastic on there. There's some extra mothballs. No trace of mice, although there's some f insulation down. I don't know. No trace of mice down in here. No trace of water damage either. This must have been just recent. Huh, interesting. It's all dry. Let me see what the insulation is pulled out from. I don't know. I don't see any trace of mice. Oh, there was some, no. Mouse bait has been eaten up pretty good. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of poop. So they came into the back, and then they died. Ah oh, yeah, there's a couple little pieces of poop. They came in through the back. At least the rest of the RV is clean. All right. Well, gather up mothballs, close up hatches, and get my cat. All right, this is awkward. I'm in four-wheel drive. It's deep. I wish I had good tires. Let's see if 
if we can do this. Might have to make a path. That's bad. It's a mess. Uh, I might have to put the camera down. It's too bad I can't leave it running. It's gonna be some cool driving. It's probably gonna fall. I'm going down to the tree. Alright, and I'm back up again. Wow. Stick. Oh, wow, it's sick. It's 18 inches. Alright, you want to go down low? We'll go down low. I might not be getting out. Look at that. All right, I gotta put the camera down for the maneuvering here. This is insane. some good tires on this poor old beast. So it, now I gotta put the camera down for maneuvering. <sighs> gotta love a good old Chevy truck. Oh, got it up to the house. Landlady's stuck. Might have to go to town and get a chain. Pull her out. Uh, well, I had to come through the middle of the yard in order to even make it. That's some deep snow in places. But if I can uh, maintain this path, maybe I might be able to blaze a trail through there and the sun will melt it down and I'll be able to get in and out of here in four wheel drive. What a mess. Here's where they had kept it plowed, fortunately, but um, didn't do any good in the driveway. Here's my birds. I don't know if they remember me at all, but look at that, all alive. Hi birds, say hi to the camera. They made it. Well, they all got frozen on their crowns, though. Poor things. <sighs> Big boys got frostbite on the crowns. It was a brutal winter. But they made it. Yeah, he's happy. They made it through. Here's my little flowery one. Good. My birds, you guys remember me? Huh? Another bird? Oh, there they are. High and dry down here. See, his tree sheltered him nicely. Very well. well they're going to have to stay here a while. Won't get them back out to the homestead for a while. 
Well, I've got my truck backed up to the car. I'm going to unload the most important stuff from the car into the truck and see if I can make a run for it and get at least the cat and my personal gear to the RV. And then I'll have to see if I can get the truck back out and get into town and get some propane for heat tonight. Because I won't be using the wood stove for a while. Adventure. This is adventure, I guess, in the wild up north. I'm home. Oh, I love my truck. I love my truck. Oh, I didn't think it would make it. That's just some cheap junk street tires. I did not know if I was going to make it. Look at this mess. No way my car is coming out here. Oh. This will melt next day or two. We got more snow coming. So that's a problem. But if I keep blazing this trail out, widen it a little bit, it'll melt off. I just want to show you how deep this is in places. That's not bad there. That's up to my wrist. It's soupy. That's another problem. Uh, at least I can walk up and down and get some water too then. I'm going to take some empty jugs up to the, to the house. i got to get into town and get some propane. Look at that. The hair on my leg. That's a good, uh, at least 12 inches. Well, Neil on the comments said we had a foot. I didn't believe it, really. I was like, no, that can't be right. A foot of snow? It's March. All right, here it got deep. I'm not going in there. That's a water hole. That's about uh, 14 to 18 inches. It's deep. So, unload my truck, grab my propane cans, and heading into town. I'll top off the truck tanks and some propane and get settled in. It was quite a trip. I left Australia well over a week ago. And my feet are sopping wet. Good thing I had these old leather boots to in my car. It's better than nothing. Um, bad news is I'm not going to be able to hook up my other solar panels because the wires will be buried under the snow. So that'll be an adventure for another day. Today, I gotta get unpacked. Look at this. That's got some serious clearance, but I was pushing snow with that uh, spare tire rack. I got all my gear in the back. So, uh, get settled in home. Well, the first thing I did is got my cat settled. She's growling at me because she's uh, confused. Got my bed laid out all the way to the floor so it dries uh, if there was any humidity and moisture. Let that lay out and uh, warm up. Um, bad thing about living in an RV, um, I've got my bags here, I've got some bags here, I've got some stuff on the floor, I've got stuff on the counter, uh, I've got stuff over here. Um, see, that's that was all everything I boxed when I left. I put everything over here. Uh, I think I said that before. I'm not sure if the camera was rolling or not. Um, I got my empty milk jugs I'm going to take with me. I'm going to go get water from the landlady's house. I can't close my door um, because the porch has shifted very badly in the winter. So, you guys are right. I am learning. Well, anyway, uh, yeah, look at this mess. So now I'm going to town to get some propane for heat if my truck will get back out again and then I'll get this place warmed up although I have to say it's not bad uh, let me refocus it's 57.7 in 52 percent humidity and 50 degrees out 66 percent humidity so the humidity in here is not at all bad now that's because I was smarter with this RV and I parked the RV in the Sun now, the time is off it's 3 30 um, the RV was parked in the halfway sunlight during the day and um, it is not wet in here and it doesn't feel too bad at all 
so that was a bonus um, oh something I thought about I was worried about my foods I forgot my cans foods okay they didn't go bad um, did they no amazingly they didn't burst I was so worried I forgot to empty the the fridge now the mayonnaise is no good I don't think that doesn't look good that was a brand new can of mayonnaise um, I don't think that'll be <laughs> usable probably burst its own seal and rotted I don't know if I had anything down in there no that was empty so everything made it I'm really surprised it uh, um, I do see I forgot some apples when I left but I'll get rid of them later everything's okay I thought the cans would burst they didn't um, good it's looking good